Would you like to make this shitty matrix effect? Well, let's make that today in Blender. Step 1. Making transparency gradient. First of all, let's delete everything. First, we will add a monkey by pressing Shift plus A and then move it up a little bit. Also, add a plane in the scene and scale it up a little so this will help us make that gradient. Then go to the modifier section, add a geometry node and click on this new one to create a new one for it. Then we can split this panel right here and head to a geometry node by clicking here. Now here we will create that gradient using our plane. So bring it by dragging from the outliner just like this. Then we can connect it to a geometry proximity which gives us this distance. If we visualize it, first control shift left click on our input and then connect the distance from the geometry proximity we get this but it is not correct because you have to set it to relative and it is better now we will use this gradient data inside the material of our monkey for that store it using the store named attribute and name it gradient and plug that distance into here also before we use it inside the shader editor we have to add a material on our monkey from here in the materials tab and i will click new and name this material to monkey then use a set material here as well inside the geometry node to assign the same material now we can head to the shader editor by splitting this panel right here now we can use that attribute node inside here and type in the gradient so that we can use it inside here this will help us control the transparency to see what is actually happening first let's switch to the material preview then connect the output to the shader and we have something like this now to make it disappear what we will do is connect it to the alpha of the principal bstf and we get this to make the result better use a color ramp switch the direction and get something like this you can also tighten the result if you bring them closer now to animate it if we go back to the geo nodes we can just use a math node just after the geometry proximity then changing the value will animate it like this. Another tip is that if you duplicate these two nodes in the shader editor, plug it into the animation section and set the strength to 10, then flip the color ramp as well as we get this catch glow. Also set it to base plane. We'll make this better later, so for now just change the color to something red. Step 2 alphabets on faces first i will create a separate line so duplicating the group input now connect it back using the joint geometry node so that we can see it again now what we want is use this instance on point node to have those alphabets using this string to curve node and plug it in and you can just enter any text you would like here first of all change their rotation on the x to 90 degree so that they are standing like that now scale it down from here to around 0.06 it looks better now also you would notice they are not in the center so change the horizontal alignment to center vertical alignment to middle and the pivot point to the midpoint this should fix it next let's fill them using a fill curve node but we want the matrix text right you can change it from here but you need the font for that so link is in the description but make sure when you are installing it just right click on it and make sure you install it for all the users or else it won't show up now select the matrix font and we get this but i want it only just above our emissive part again we are going to use our getting data connect to our color ramp and then collect to this selection again with this color ramp you have to fine-tune your results so that we can get something like this okay this is better but we don't want same text everywhere for that we can make a group of these nodes first then plug this noodle out so we can change the letter outside then duplicate it a lot of times so that we can have a lots of them and give each of them a different letter or alphabet and connect them back using a joint geometry but to make it work we have to check this big instances and that's how it's gonna work and then you can get this result but we have one issue that is the texts are not making the monkey outline perfectly so to fix that we can add a subdivision modifier on it from the modifier section move it just before the geo nodes so that it takes effect properly and 
we get better result. You can change around the result whenever you want. And again all of this can be animated with this just math note right here. Next we want this to be changing and more randomized right which can be done with this random value node set to integer first then connecting it to the instance index and set the value to minimum 0 and the max 2000 and if we plug a scene time node with the frame to its seed and hit that spacebar and we get this kind of result but it is way too fast so to slow it down we can use a math node set the operation to divide and the higher the value will be like if we set it to 10 it will slow down a lot if you want you can make it even slower by putting the higher value to make it even more better plug another random value setting to max 10 and minimum 8 and plug it here to give random speed to each of them which will give us a more natural result and who knew we are gonna use a random value so much because we are again going to connect it to the scale of these alphabets to give it a fake depth so giving it a max value the original scale that we have created which is 0.06 and you can set the minimum a little lower or way lower like 0.02 or 0.01 so last problem is if we look from side this won't look good so to fix it first we add a camera to our scene then look through the camera with this button after that we can lock it with this button move it however we like and the camera will follow our viewport so we'll keep it to the side right here where the alphabets are all flat after that we are done make sure to turn this off as well now we can drag our camera into the scene as well and make sure to set it to relative then what we simply do is connect the location of our camera to the vector of our align rotation to vector node and connect it back to the rotation of our instance on point then choose a y as a pivot point now they all are looking at the camera but they lost their original 90 degree rotation that we assigned at the beginning we can get that back using a rotation node connect right here and add that 90 degree to x back in and now it will follow the camera everywhere to check it click on the lock icon again and see if it's working finally give them a proper material so head to the materials tab and create a new one and name it to text underscore mesh because we will create a different material for the lines then apply the same in the geo node using the set material and select our material then in the shader editor get rid of the principal bsdf which is useless just use the emission again and set the same red color and set the send to 20. step 3 it's time for a little makeup this emission is really not looking so emissive so to make it better let's switch our shader editor to a compositor and click use notes but before we do anything to see our result in the real time we go here and enable the compositor to always now just add a clear node and bam okay it's too much so you can reduce down the fade to 0.8 and if that should look good and if you wish you can add another clear just before the one that we added and set it to bloom and change its setting to get the desired result now it's looking way better step 4 the matrix lines okay to have this part again we use the group input again connecting back using the joint geometry then use a distribute points on faces but we only want them at the very top so connect our controlling data or the gradient data to the density here but first switch this to a poison disk then connect it to make it sharper we use a color ramp and set it to something like this also density is too low so setting it to around 300 and that should work then to move them up use a math node like this set to add and this should help you to move it up and down and that looks perfect now use the instance on point and connect a curve line to replace the points setting the z to 4 meter i know you have not seen something this long i know that okay let's make some space as well here then we are gonna use trim curve to trim start and the end both at the same time for that we will connect our gradient data shift right click and drag over this to create this and then we can connect it to the both 
but using a color ramp and inverse them so we cannot see anything the reason is that the start and the end are using the same value to see the curve the end needs to be greater than the start to fix that we can add a math node just before the color ramp and set the start one to be minus 1.42 and end one a little bit higher something like minus 1.66 we are gonna fine tune these later now if you move our original math node we can see them trimming but we have two problems first they are trimming all at the same time to fix that we can just use a simple realize instances node just before the trim curve that will fix it next the trim effect is going up but it should actually come down to fix that we can just use a reverse curve and then we have to readjust the add value right here like this to get this result and it is working now and if we change the original add value everything is working just fine and now we use the same setup we created for the alphabets copy it move to here and have text on these lines as well and connect everything properly but the problem is we have very few alphabets so to fix that we just have to head back where our reverse curve is and before that add a subdivide curve node and as soon as you increase the number of subdivision like this you will get a better result and i'm gonna set it to something like around 50 and after that we can apply the same material as a text and we get this it is looking really wonderful to join it up properly you can move it up and down with this add node here that should give you a desired result for the final touch i want any text to be less emissive for that we have to store the gradient data using again the store named attribute but we are going to store it just before our set material so we can use it inside the shader editor why i'm connecting everything to this because this is the ultimate controller for all the animation now before we use or do anything i will click on this icon to duplicate our material and name it to text line and assign the same inside the geo node as well then we can use the attribute node again and summon our gradient then use mix shader and diffuse bsdf and connect it something like this with the factor right here we can control the fade away but it's not working and the simple reason is that just before the store named attribute you have to use a node which is realize instances which will make each and every alphabet a single entity after that you just have to fine tune your result using a color ramp i'm gonna keep it at a b spline to make the result even more softer and also you can add a math node to make it move up and down the golden move of moving up and down then i forgot to add a color into this I, we can just copy the same color and paste it over here step five little animation trick you might be wondering how i made this screen uh, that is really simple if you head back to the compositor now here i have used a hue saturation node you can just change around the color of text to whatever you like so i've changed it to something like again the original matrix effect okay now for the animation trick let's head back to geometry node editor select our monkey so i've changed the value to minus 2.5 for the end and for the start i have set it to minus 2.3 which is giving me a great result and lastly i have added this multiply node just after the end one this will simply speed up the end animation let me just turn this original monkey away and now if you look at this it will look more like it's draining down alphabets and that is more natural animation okay now to have proper animation what we will do is first head to the zeroth frame press i on this value the original animation controller and then we will set it somewhere that the thing is just visible press i to insert a keyframe go to the 250th frame and then reveal our whole mesh properly like that and insert a keyframe now find the spot where the whole thing is not revealed properly at this point I again press i to insert a keyframe and then what i'm going to do is move this keyframe way ahead like at the 230th frame just right here now when the animation is about to start it is starting really slow so to fix that you can select these two keyframes press t and set it to linear and that will give you a better result now as we notice at the start you can see it just appears out of nowhere we can fix that of course so let's just head to the trim curve section here what we are going to do is first animate this press i on it to insert a keyframe 
then go ahead like around 20th frame and press i to insert a keyframe again now if you go back to the start keyframe what we have to do is change it to the same value as the above one so i will set to minus 2.8 and insert a keyframe now if you see we get something like this that is looking way better and at the end you will notice that it just disappears suddenly so to fix that we can animate this value and press i on it then when it reaches 240 you have to just increase the value i'll set it to minus three and insert a keyframe and that should do the trick for us if you're not able to see the keyframe what you have to do is make sure the mesh is selected and this node is selected then only the keyframe will be visible and after all that we should get something like this and if we render it in the cycles go to the render view you will get way better result but in the real time you won't be able to see it that greatly before we end this tutorial if you want the blend file that i created the original animation of this matrix one you can grab that from my gumroad page link is in the description so that was all for this tutorial if you really love this tutorial please give a thumbs up and if you have any doubts you can drop them in the comment section also make sure to click that subscribe button hit that notification so that you can see my future tutorial as well and i will see you guys in the next one